do it. Let's do it. A lot of people don't believe in you. It's been is obvious by, you know, six other quarterbacks taking it. They're collectively known as the Brady Six. The six quarterbacks that were chosen ahead of the greatest of all time. But not much is mentioned regarding six different quarterbacks taken before another afterthought. Can you name the guys who were picked ahead of you, Tom? The quarterbacks? Andrew Luck. Robert Griffin III, RG3! Ryan Tannehill from Texas A&M. Brandon Whedon. Brock Osweiler. Russell Wilson. The Philadelphia Eagles select. In Austin, Texas, the journey for a lanky, floppy-haired kid began at Westlake High School. He was teammates with Justin Tucker and followed in the footsteps of another Westlake alum, Drew Brees. Uh, his ability to throw the deep ball and to find it between two defenders, that's just Nick, and Nick's been doing that for a long, long time. Full succeeded in high school and would go on to break many school records set by Brees. He received numerous offers from Texas and Baylor, but chose to play college football away from home at Michigan State. How come he didn't go to Texas? Uh, it just didn't work out, but it was a blessing in disguise for me to tell you the truth. In a crowded quarterback room that contained Brian Hoyer and Kirk Cousins, Foles decided to transfer after just one year at Michigan State. He attempted just eight passes. Why didn't you like it at East Lansing? Too cold for you, wasn't it? No, nah, it, was, uh, it was definitely a different environment. Uh, I went there my freshman year, and I went through spring, got better as a player, didn't worry about anything else. And after, I was like, Dad, I just, I don't know. Like, my heart's wavering. Like, I don't know if I can reach my full potential. Bowles directs it, man. He's got a man wide open. Bowles has a man, found a little hold in Douglas. Delay on the play fake, and that is a beautifully thrown ball from Foles. Nick Foles was a three-year starter at the University of Arizona. During his tenure, he threw for over 10,000 yards and 67 touchdowns. He still holds multiple school records to this day. Andrew, tell me a little bit about the beard. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I've never had one before. I figured, I went home, my mom didn't say anything about it. So I decided, you know, I've never done it before. Why not grow one now in college? I don't have to be presentable, right? That's a, <laughs> is that a rule or something? <laughs> Nick Foles declared for the 2012 NFL Draft, and so does Stanford quarterback Andrew Luck, a rival of Nick Foles in college. Luck's talent and smart football mind made him the best quarterback prospect in a very long time. When we were taught was sort of read the mic. Mike pushes strong. You're gonna work off there. Mike pushes weak. That's why it was no surprise that all eyes were on Luck at the 2012 Combine. Type NFL ready fits the mold yeah, for sure. Good. Yeah. Good. And pedigree too. Yeah. Luck was seen as a predecessor to Peyton Manning, who had spinal fusion surgery. But while the spotlight was on Andrew Luck, Nick Foles was hardly a topic of interest. How did this deal come about? 
Linda, they had been working on this deal for quite some time, really from the time that the two teams had gotten home from the combine. So this trade has assured the Washington Redskins that they will come out of the draft next month with one of the two potential franchise quarterbacks that they coveted. The Redskins made it evident that they would select a quarterback in the draft. Robert Griffin III, the Heisman Trophy winner. Pick it up, give it a shot. You pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just there we go, there we go. Yeah. The trade essentially guaranteed the Redskins were getting a franchise quarterback. Welcome inside Radio City Music Hall. On the day of the draft, the first two selections went as expected. The Indianapolis Colts select Andrew Luck, quarterback, Stanford. The Washington Redskins select Robert Griffin III, quarterback, Baylor. The next best quarterback was Ryan Tannehill. A former wide receiver at Texas A&M, Tannehill converted to playing quarterback full-time his senior year. One season was all that was needed to impress the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins select Ryan Tannehill, quarterback, Texas A&M. Brandon Whedon played minor league baseball for several years. He then enrolled at Oklahoma State and played quarterback. Later in the first round, the Cleveland Browns drafted him at 28 years old, making Whedon the oldest player to ever be drafted in the modern era. The Cleveland Browns select Brandon Whedon, quarterback, Oklahoma State. The Browns selected him with the now infamous 22nd pick. The Browns have also selected fellow quarterbacks Brady Quinn and Johnny Manziel with the 22nd pick. Later in the second round, the Broncos selected Brock Osweiler. Osweiler played against Nick Foles in college as he attended rival school Arizona State. Osweiler's 6'7 height infatuated John Elway. In the third round, the Eagles were interested in Wisconsin quarterback Russell Wilson, but the Seahawks had other plans and beat them to it. Seattle Seahawks select Russell Wilson, quarterback, Wisconsin. Instead, with the 88th pick, the Eagles settled with plan B, Arizona quarterback, Nick Foles. Foles was a backup his rookie season to Michael Vick. He filled in and showed much promise when Vick was hurt. Foles, pass, and it's in there. Touchdown to Jeremy Macklin, and the Eagles will win. Going into 2013, the Eagles hired Chip Kelly, who implemented a new offensive system. Once Vic was hurt for a second time, Philadelphia never looked back. It falls down the middle to John Jackson. It's caught for the touchdown. Falls to B. From the six off a big toss to McCoy. Falls to the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, it falls on first, throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's Jackson. Falls with the protection again. Throws the open man and sell it. Touchdown. That's seven for Nick Falls. Seven touchdown passes today. And that equals an NFL record. Foles had one of the best seasons for a quarterback in NFL history. 27 touchdowns to only two interceptions, 119 passer rating, which ranks third all time, MVP candidate. In 2014, Foles led the Eagles to a 6-2 record before suffering a broken clavicle. Following the season, 
the Eagles made a shocking decision. It was known as the craziest five minutes in NFL transaction history. The Eagles traded Nick Foles to the Rams in exchange for Sam Bradford. In 2015, the career of Nick Foles hit a low point. He threw just seven touchdowns in 11 games. Following the season, the Rams drafted Jared Goff as their franchise quarterback, which led to Foles asking for his release after just one year with the Rams. I don't know what to make of Nick Foles. I think he's a very uneven player. Foles was starting to lose the passion, contemplating retirement. I was going to stop playing the game. Like, if I don't love this and it's not in my heart, I can't do it. But a heartfelt letter from his wife changed his perspective. You know, my wife wrote me a letter, and in the letter she just talked about, you know, wanting me to go back and play, but not to be out there and play, but because she knew I wasn't finished yet, that she knew that I had so much going on in my heart that I had to face my fear, basically, because it was almost paralyzing to go back and play. Foles played the 2016 season in Kansas City under his former head coach, Andy Reid. He backed up Alex Smith and appeared in just two games. In 2017, Foles returned to Philadelphia. Under a new head coach, Doug Peterson, the Eagles became contenders. Championship on three, one, two, three. Championship. Believe it, man, believe it. Opening day, 2017, National Football League season. And five and one, spins away, under pressure. Now he fires downfield, and it's caught by Nelson Aguilar. I don't know if they have the firepower to compete with the New York Giants. It's good! Philadelphia wins it! Right, so all we got to do is what we were trained to do, period. And we will execute. Gets up the sideline. They just burn it again. Can anybody get him? What a return. He's hit when he throws it, and he's picked off. He is intercepted. And he's in trouble. Wentz will be escaping from the 18-yard line. How in the world did that happen? A source confirming to our insider, Adam Shepard, that the Dolphins are trading running back Jay Ajayi to the Eagles. Looking for the angle, Ajayi dives. Touchdown, Eagles. Great team effort today, man. Great team effort. Go out there tonight, give it all you got. Leave it on the field, man. As I say, man, play for one another, man. You play for that name on your back. Watch his legs and his body just fold on that hit by Barron. Nobody wants to see this. Carson Wentz is going off to get looked at. And the Eagles are very concerned. I'm told that they fear it is a left ACL. You cannot lose the league MVP and still go win the Super Bowl. Just can't. The Eagles went 11-2 before Carson Wentz was ruled out for the rest of the year. Nick Foles took over and was given the task of leading the Eagles into the postseason. Um, prepare every day, uh, work every day, so I'm ready to go, need be. You look at the list of backups, he stacks up pretty well compared to other teams' backups. That's something I'm not yet certain about. It's a 78 quarterback rating. It's six and a half yards per attempt. It's very typical NFL backup stuff. Carson Wentz and the Eagles, to me, were gonna be the favorites. Uh, and probably get home field throughout the playoffs. Now, I'm not sure if they'll get home field throughout the playoffs. For the next four hours, the is locked in here. They can't go home. That's what we do with them. Let's go. That's the season right here. Ryan in trouble. Ryan flips one into the end zone with a prayer incomplete. Nick, great job, man. Way to play. Hey, Good luck the rest of the way, okay? Thank you. Go get you one. Keenum throws. He's picked. 
Patrick Robinson back the other way. Robinson for the touchdown. Pass is caught. Jeffrey, touchdown. You don't know how happy I am for you, bro. I'm going to love you again. There's nobody deserves this more than you. Nobody deserves this more than you. Nick Foles led the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl against the favorited Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. The two men, who had six quarterbacks drafted ahead of them, would go face to face on the biggest stage. Pressure coming, and that pass, great catch. That's play action. Going for it all. For the touchdown. Foles played as if his life depended on it. And that is floated and caught down the sideline by Clement. Inside the 20. Makes it first down and goal. A competitive back and forth game came down to the most iconic play in franchise history. You want Philly Philly? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Philly special. Ready? Fourth and goal. They're going to snap it, and it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Foles, touchdown. They go to the very, very, very back of the playbook. This play call has a chance to be remembered as one of the all-time greats. For the remainder of the game, Foles continued to deliver. Corey Clement, yes, touchdown. Caught over the middle and into the end zone. Zach Ertz. For the first time ever, the Philadelphia Eagles were Super Bowl champions. Super Bowl MVP, Nick Foles. And to be here with my daughter, my wife, my family, my teammates, this city, we're very blessed. Congratulations. You too, man. MVP, that's awesome, dude. Everyone doubted us, but we just kept coming, and now we're world champs. It was once regarded as one of the best quarterback draft classes of all time. The six quarterbacks drafted ahead of Nick Foles all had their unique journeys. The once in a generation quarterback, Andrew Luck, was productive but retired at the age of 29. It's taken my joy of this game away. Sorry. With multiple injuries and drama in D.C., Robert Griffin III has bounced around from team to team. He currently backs up Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. Omaha. Ryan Tannehill failed to find success for several years in Miami and just now had a late career resurgence in Tennessee. Brandon Whedon was not the savior of the Cleveland Browns. He's best known as a journeyman backup in the NFL. Brock Osweiler did win Super Bowl 50, but as a backup to Peyton Manning. He didn't live up to expectations. He retired at 28. Russell Wilson might be the only one that has had justifiable success. He's appeared in two Super Bowls, winning Super Bowl 48. He's regarded as one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL today. I would have been fine going a different way in life and I would have done whatever and helped people in any which way possible, but I knew to make more growth, I had to go back in and face that fear and face my failures. Full steps up, delivers, it's caught! Love just means you care for one another unconditionally. You, know, you have no hidden agenda. You really want what's best to the person next to you. And with that, you can do amazing things. There's gonna be people that doubt you, 
Don't listen to them. What matters is what's in here and the people that love you, that support you. Go out there every day and be bold. Be a part of the Philadelphia Eagles. Be a part of these guys. It's one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. We finally did it. We're Super Bowl champs. Yeah.